Good afternoon. Thank you for joining back. Uh, this is our second session for CFNC with our regional representative, Skip, Skip Watts. Um, he is from the western part of our state, and he's going to share information with us about CFNC, about Countdown to College, as well as the RDS. Um, he is has been with CFNC for over 10 years. He feels truly blessed to be a part of our community and able to help students pursue their dreams. He's a graduate of Appalachian State University and specializes in scholarship attainment, financial aid understanding, and career preparation. So having said all of that, Skip, welcome back. Thank you again for doing this presentation for our seniors, and I'll, wish the, I'll let you go. Well, thanks again for the second time. That was a great introduction. I really appreciate the kind words. Again, my name is Skip. I work with CFNC. CFNC is an information partnership. We're made up of a bunch of different organizations across the state, and we all have like a formal address in Raleigh, so to speak. Instead, we get input from the University of North Carolina System Schools, the Community College System, College Foundation Incorporated, NCSEAA, which is the organization that oversees how the Pell Grant is distributed across the state of North Carolina, the independent colleges across the state of North Carolina, and also the Department of Instruction. If you take all those entities, they make CFNC what it is. We're here to offer you free resources to help you plan, apply, and pay for college. Now, if you'll remember, CFNC was navigated in previous iterations by these tabs at the type, top of the screen. We're really excited because we've redone the whole website. It's a new aesthetic. It looks really cool. But the same navigational strategies apply. You can find most information that will apply to our listeners today through these different tabs at the top of the screen. For example, Plan for your future. That's where you're going to find all our career assessments and our college profiles. If you want to do your college applications to North Carolina colleges, you can do that through CFNC through the Apply to College tab. And this is also where you can access the Residency Determination Service, or RDS, which is a program I'll discuss at length in a few minutes. If you want to find the scholarships across the state of North Carolina, the Pay for College section is where you can find those. And parents, if you want to save for college, you can link to the North Carolina 529 program, which is a national college savings program through CFNC in the Save for College tab. Now, I'm going to start real quickly by clicking on Plan for Your Future. All of this is brand new, and we're really excited about it. And with every introductory page, we have a quote from um, a famous American. In this instance, it's Ray Bradbury. If I scroll down a little further, I've got this new timeline. This timeline is designed to give students and families information that's relevant to that point in their educational experience. So we have information for eighth graders all the way to adult learners and savers. For today's purposes, I'm going to quickly, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to click on the freshman year. And from here, I can find information about uh, college preparation opportunities, which are summer camps over uh, throughout the summer that are designed to help students complete academic programming. Uh, I can see ways to learn and save and pay for college. I can check college entrance requirements if I go over to the sophomore year. I can start researching college options. I can start learning about college entrance tests. I can explore options for earning credit for high school. If I scroll down a little further, I can also link planning for college tools down here in this card and plan for career tools as well. So I'm going to click quickly on plan for a career because I strongly believe the students need to have an identifiable career prospect before they start doing some serious college research. So students, if you haven't already delved into maybe some interest assessments and you haven't really figured out what you want to study or what you want to do for a living, now is the time. I would really prefer that you not go to college with you know, just kind of a willy-nilly attitude towards college just to go to for the experience, for example. Instead, I would prefer that you go with a purpose. If you can identify a career, that will really help you not only expedite your college experience, but it'll also help you pick the college that's best for you. So right now, I'm in the plan for a career section of the website. If I drop down to learn about yourself, this is where I can find all the free career assessments that CFNC has to offer. In fact, everything on this website is free, so take advantage of it. I again encourage students to really have a career plan in mind before they go to college. If you try to do it in college, if you just start taking classes and you find your passion that way, 
you could very well elongate your college education, which could cost a lot of money. Colleges get more expensive every year. So I want you guys to get in and out quickly. That might start by figuring out exactly what you want to do right now. So we've got interest assessments ranging from this interest profiler all the way down to really detail oriented interest assessments like the do what you are and learning style inventory. But for tonight's purposes and because time's limited, I'm going to roll back up to the interest profiler. And I just want to show you a little bit about what this assessment's all about. So I'm going to click down on some of my assessment results from years past. Now from here, I was um, basically given some Holland codes after I completed this assessment. I received social, investigative, realistic, artistic Holland codes. Essentially, these are like strengths within my personality. And you can see here that social is a very strong point within my personality. So if I want to review jobs that are linked to social personalities, I can go down here and I can find different jobs that a social Holland code person might find beneficial and enjoyable. So if I scroll down a little further, I see I got an acupuncturist here for me. I don't like blood, so I'm not going to do that one. Adult care nurse, there's the possibility I could see blood there. So if I drop, drop down a little further, this adaptive physical education specialist looks kind of cool. Um, I used this as an example during my last program. So from here, if I click on the adult physical education specialist program, I can see basic information that's really important for me to keep in mind when selecting a career. To start with, I can see how much this person earns both nationally and in North Carolina. I can see what kind of job availability there is in North Carolina and nationally. I can see what kind of education is required, what kind of skills are required. All of that's important. One thing that's extremely important when thinking about college, though, is our first year's proposed salary. Okay, That's what I want students to think of as their ceiling for college loans or student loans. Students, ideally, I don't want you to borrow at all, but if you have to borrow some money, use this first year proposed salary as a ceiling. If you borrow more than that, it's gonna be difficult to pay those loans back. At any rate, I digress. I just wanted to point out that there are all kinds of planning for your career tools in CFNC, and I need students, if they haven't already started to identify career possibilities to do so quickly. Now, once we figured out what kind of different career possibilities are in our future, we need to start figuring out what colleges will help us get to that destination. So I'm going to go back to plan your future. I'm going to scroll down again past that Ray Bradbury quote, and I'm going to roll down here, and I'm going to try to find something about exploring colleges. So let's see. I've got research college options right here at the top of my 10th grade year. I've also got that in 11th and 12th grade, but Time's limited, so I want to quickly show you guys how you can find different college options in North Carolina that have your intended major. I should also point out you can use this function nationally, but I like to promote the North Carolina colleges because they're dramatically cheaper if we're state residents, at least at, least at the public setting. So I'm going to scroll up here quickly and point out that CFNC has worked hard to put some new filters in both our scholarship search and our college search. So the card on the left is one way that we can start researching colleges and I'm going to click on the academic drop down tab and then select programs and majors. From here, since we've already talked a little bit about education, I'm going to click the education and training section or career cluster rather and then I'm going to click OK. Now at this point CFNC has auto populated a list for me that's got all the two and four year colleges that can help me prepare to go into physical education or adaptive physical education. At this point, I've got, let's see here, Alamance Community College. I can see the in-state tuition, the out-of-state tuition rate. If I drop down a little further, I've got Appalachian State here, my alma mater. If I want to explore Appalachian a little further, I can click on the Appalachian State logo. And then from here, as soon as this page loads, if it chooses to load, which it's, there it is, I can see all kinds of important information about ASU, including what kind of grades I have to have to be enrolled in ASU what kind of programs of study they have, how much ASU cost. And I'm going to click on this just to highlight a couple key statistics that oftentimes parents and students overlook when they're comparing colleges. I'm going to roll down here and point out that in financial aid, they speak a language that consists almost entirely of acronyms. And one acronym that's really important to keep in mind is the cost of attendance. 
the cost of attendance at a college is going to include tuition, required fees, maybe a cost for books and supplies, and also room and board. Those costs put together is the total cost of attendance, or COA, at Appalachian. I prefer that students meet that COA with grant and scholarship dollars. It's not difficult, but it is possible, and it starts tonight if you haven't already identified a college that you're interested in and started to look for scholarship possibilities. Now, I'm going to scroll quickly back up to the card on the left and point out there's also information on student life and how transfer students can apply to ASU and all kinds of other information that's relevant to students that want to attend Appalachian State. You can also get recruited by ASU's admissions office, or you can do your application through CFNC. I want to point out that CFNC tries to host applications for North Carolina schools. Most schools in North Carolina use the CFNC application, but some also use the Common App. CFNC will route you to the most appropriate application if you choose to use this resource. Now from here, we've discussed a little bit about CFNC's career planning tools. We've done some college research. Now I wanna move forward and skip quickly over to the apply to college tab. If you choose again to apply to CFNC, you can use the, the link in the bottom of each college profile page, or you can use what's called the application hub, which is where I'm at right now. The application hub hosts applications across the state of North Carolina. You can also link over to the countdown to college from this page, which I'm going to talk about more in just a few minutes. You can also link to residency determination. I'll talk about residency determination towards the end of the presentation. Before I get there, though, I'm going to roll over here to pay for college. I think this is a really important part of CFNC because this is where we host all the scholarships that are administered by the state of North Carolina. I think scholarship attainment is critical for high school seniors. The more scholarship and grant funding we can get seniors, the less parents will have to borrow or students will have to borrow or pay out of pocket. So let's try to maximize scholarship dollars, and that can start at the state level with CFNC. So if I scroll down here, past that Benjamin Franklin quote, I can link over to grants and scholarships throughout the state of North Carolina. Generally speaking, grants. Um, are opportunities that students are made eligible for after completing the FAFSA. The FAFSA is a free application for federal student aid. Students and families never pay to complete something that has free in the acronym. FAFSA.gov is where you'll find the legitimate FAFSA, and I recommend that if you haven't already started completing the FAFSA process, you do so in October. Basically, the FAFSA doesn't open up until October, but families can get their FSA ID tonight or soon thereafter if they choose. Your FSA ID is essentially your electronic signature when filing the FAFSA. I would like for parents and students to try to get that FSA ID sometime this week or possibly within the first week of October. I ask that you do so because, again, to complete the FAFSA, you have to sign it electronically with that FSA ID. So if needed, or, or actually I shouldn't even say that, I recommend strongly that you consider completing that FSA ID process as soon as possible. The, uh, the FAFSA again opens up October 1st. The earlier we complete the FAFSA, the better. Federal and state financial aid is first come, first serve. So families, if we can try to get that FSA ID in advance of completing the FAFSA in October, that's optimal. Now, going from the FAFSA, I want to talk a little bit about the scholarships that are offered through CFNC. We've done a lot of work to try to offer families in North Carolina an easier way to research scholarships. So we've created a bunch of new filters that are in this left-hand card. If students want to filter by scholarships that are available for residents of their home county, they can do that if they so choose. They can filter down by eligible populations, college type, whether or not they're state residents or not. There's all kinds of ways that we can filter down and find scholarships that meet our need to help pay for college. For the most part, college in North, colleges in North Carolina and nationally will allow students to take scholarships up to the COA or cost of attendance. If we do the FAFSA sometime in October or November, we may be eligible for a Pell Grant. 
If we get a Pell Grant, we can then start potentially stacking other scholarship opportunities on top of that Pell Grant in effort to meet that total cost of attendance. So again, let's try to get the FAFSA done sometime in October. But before then, let's start doing some research about scholarship possibilities. And students, if you want to stay really organized with regards to scholarship research, you might want to open up a spreadsheet or maybe even just a Word document and make note of the scholarship, the link, and the deadline and award amount. These deadlines are firm for a lot of scholarships in North Carolina and nationally, so let's make sure we meet those deadlines firmly. Now, we've talked a little bit about planning for your future on CFNC, applying to college, and paying for college. Next up, I want to talk about a program that's unique to North Carolina. It's called the Countdown to College, and it's a CFNC-oriented program that's designed to help families navigate this whole college application process. So essentially, what we've designed is a whole event schedule. So I'm going to click on 2020 event schedule, and from here, We've designed the month of October to be kind of like a college application month. We want students to approach this in an organized fashion. So if I click on week one, we're going to highlight that students may want to create a CFNC account if they haven't already done so. This will really help with RDFs, and it may also help with your college applications if you choose to apply through CFNC. Again, we're recommending that if students haven't already identified a career path, that they start doing so now. We again link students over to college search and uh, programs that have their majors. And also, we link students to that FSA ID. Remember, families, that's your electronic signature for the FAFSA. The earlier we get this, the easier it is to complete the FAFSA in October, November, or December. While I'm on the FAFSA, if you didn't attend the FAFSA program earlier in the evening, the FAFSA will use parent and student information from 2019. Basically, we're going to need your tax information. I shouldn't say we. It's the federal government wants your tax information from 2019. So again, if you haven't already done so, we might want to get that FSA ID and then start the FAFSA using our 2019 taxes in October. Now, I'm going to go quickly and roll up to week two. If I click on week two, this is when we're preparing to apply for college. This is when I really need students to decide what colleges they want to apply to. I need them to talk to their counselors about possible fee waivers. And while I'm on that bullet point, students, if you're eligible for free or reduced lunch, then you're eligible for three college fee waivers, but you got to talk to your college or your school counselor about that. Okay. If I scroll down a little further, I want students also to start thinking about preparing a personal statement if they haven't already done so. Simply put, a personal statement is kind of like a five-paragraph essay about who you are and where you're headed in life. If you can kind of get that down on paper, then you can add a new introductory paragraph and a new conclusion paragraph and make a really solid scholarship or potentially admissions essay for college. I also want students to start, again, completing that FAFSA with their families sometime in October. And I also want them to start completing the RDS program sometime either in September or October. The earlier we complete RDS, the better. Now I'm gonna scroll back up because I wanna point out some tips for week three. So I'm gonna click on college application week three. This is when we formally start college application week. And college application week is when a lot of private schools within the state of North Carolina offer free applications to their universities. So, um, during week three, this is when we're going to start using the CFNC application hub to the fullest extent. If I scroll down, I can see that I've also got some information about completing the FAFSA and RDS. Families, college applications can be costly sometimes. Uh, college applications can range anywhere from $45 to $75 this year. Between October 19th and October 30th, if students choose to apply through CFNC, they get free applications to most of our private schools. So again, if you want to save some dollars here and there, you might want to consider holding your applications to a private school in North Carolina until the second, or excuse me, the third or fourth week of October. October 19th through 30th is when college application week formally is. It used to be just one week, but because of COVID, we've extended it two weeks in hopes of making sure that all college 
all, excuse me, all high school seniors have the opportunity to find the college they want and apply for free if possible. Now week four is when we hope that students are gonna start tying this whole process together. This is when they may choose to submit their transcripts through CFNC. I encourage you to do so because it reduces the cost of, of sending transcripts from your high school, but it also takes a lot of, um, just a lot of burden off your school counselor's back. So if you choose to submit transcripts through CFNC, the last week of October is a great time to do that. Now we've also got links in the C2C website for students, for parents, for schools. We've got North Carolina Countdown to College Resources. Um, pretty much everything you'll want to know about this college application month is going to be in this tab. Now, before I roll any further about college application week or countdown to college, I want to talk a little bit about residency determination. Residency determination is referred to as RDS in financial aid circles, and it's a program that's unique to North Carolina. Essentially, the state of North Carolina wants to award tuition discounts to our public community colleges and universities to our state residents. So in effort to get that tuition discount, you need to complete RDS before you start your college applications. So if you want to start that process tonight, it would be a great opportunity. You might also want to start it again sometime before you start your college applications for North Carolina college, colleges. You can start that by going to ncresidency.cfnc.org. And basically, you're going to sit down with your parents. And it's helpful if your parents have their driver's license and their social security card and possibly some information about their work status in North Carolina. You'll then simply start logging into the service and float through the intuitive program. Basically, questions are posed as according to how you answered the previous question. It's a pretty simple process. It should take 20 to 30 minutes to complete for most families in North Carolina. If you choose, we've got a fax page up here, which will give you some resources about RDS policies. If perhaps you want to do a reconsideration or appeal, all that information is in here as well. We've also got a link to different resources for RDS. So if I drop down and click students and parents, this is going to not only give me a YouTube tutorial for walking through RDS, but it'll also give me some information about navigating the FAFSA, how to do college applications, all kinds of information that's relevant for current 12th grade students and their families. So that's in a nutshell CFNC, Countdown to College, and the Residency Determination Service. Students and families, again, I want you to work hard this fall and perhaps next spring to reduce the amount that you're going to pay for college. You can do so by maximizing grant and scholarship opportunities. That starts with the FAFSA. Let's try to complete the FAFSA next month in October or November. Understand that this money is not infinite. Federal and state financial aid is first come, first serve. So the earlier we submit that FAFSA, the better. The FAFSA starts with the FSA ID. Again, that's your electronic signature. I would prefer that you get your FSA ID as soon as possible. The parents are going to have an FSA ID and the student will have one. So once we get those FSA IDs, save them in your phone or write them down in your Franklin planner if you're like me. Just put them somewhere where you can't lose them because you'll use that FSA ID to sign every FAFSA for each individual school year. Also, residency determination, something we want to knock out quickly. Uh, you'll only have to do that one time, but let's try to get it done before we start the college application process. And once we complete residency, take a screenshot of your residency certification number or RCN. You will need that RCN for every college application in North Carolina. Other than that, families, feel free to reach out and contact RDS. We've got our contact number up here, or feel free to reach out to CFNC at any time for information regarding completing the FAFSA. We're open, open Monday through Thursday, eight to seven, in effort to answer your questions regarding FAFSA completion. Thank you for your time this evening. Thank you, Ms. Pierce. Thank you, Pearson High School students, and thank you, um, for the opportunity to be here this evening. Have a good night. Thank you again to Mr. Watts for sharing that uh, information for us. Um, it was very informative and I know that it will be beneficial to our students moving forward. 
so that they have everything that they need to have for um, completing their college applications and getting started with that process. Uh, thank you again, students, for participating, parents for participating. Uh, you guys have a wonderful rest of your day.